Hi my dear viewers, there is a lot of talk about cupping. What is cupping, uh, how it is being used in a modern uh, treatment of pain, what is the evidence for that? That is not my concern now. I am not going to discuss about that. There are experts who are going to speak in our channel uh, very shortly. My concern is a technique which does not hold much of the evidences. A technique uh, which is literally a fabricated and fancied one is being educated to the students. Students are running behind these sort of topics rather than reading the primary topic of physical therapy. There are a lot of fancy labels to this cupping like dry cupping, wet cupping, blood cupping and nowadays people are attaching fancy words like kinetic cupping, um, biomechanical cupping or electrotherapy cupping or whatever it is, I don't know. Um, they are combining acupuncture with cupping. All these things are just fancy labels my dear students. You have to understand that there are much more than this simple cupping technique in physical therapy to learn particularly the functional training, understanding about the physiology of how our nervous system works, how it governs almost everything in our body. So you have a wide variety of things to explore rather than getting confined to this particular uh, fancy label of uh, cupping. My only concern is students are like a raw soil. Whatever you plant in that will grow in future. It will grow very prosperously because uh, it is a fertile soil so we should not plant unnecessary weeds into these people's mind we should plant which is very cultivative which is going to take us for a long distance in the profession of physiotherapy so that is my only concern not to conflict my fellow physiotherapist uh, my sincere request to people who are educating uh, young physiotherapist is to teach them science teach them how to reason how to question certain things and how to practice science rather than giving them fancy labels and extracting uh, money for not a um, productive cause and uh, my uh, another concern here is about uh, cupping is fabricating patients body using these sort of uh, cups what it is going to do any if anybody can explain the physiology reasonably if there is no theory behind what you are treating there is no uh, it's all assumption there is no um, theory theoretical support for this particular technique because it is a traditional technique and it has seeped into our uh, profession like periodically things happen like manipulation uh, started uh, seeping in then taping slowly seeped in and then chiropractic seeped in and then uh, you had all these vessels and everything uh, being uh, eroded on the patient's skin to remove pain or uh, the myofascial release techniques they uh, seeped in into our tech uh, in our field like that periodically we our profession see all these uh, unwanted things seeping inside so like that I also see cupping as one of the uh, uh, seepage into the field of physical therapy. Uh, my sincere request to students is to concentrate more on to what is needed and what is the uh, long term um, prospect for physical therapy. Um, study more of physiology and um, how the uh, physiology is altered, how body can rectify itself on its own. Uh, when it comes to uh, emergency situations, how, when we have to give rest and when we have to give activity, how to give activity gradedly, how to increase the activity level of uh, our patients who are being uh, customarily uh, advised for rest during pain, how to increase their activity. So all these things are very vital and uh, essential research oriented topic. So please don't waste your time on these uh, unwanted things. That is my opinion. Uh, it's my humble opinion if I it's not to contradict once again I'm saying you it is not to contradict anybody it is for the well-being of the students as large thank you bye